Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA was trying to do something nice for us yesterday, but then they went and messed it up. There's a lot of confusion right now on the FIFA 23 menus, but there's also a really great menu grind with upgrade packs, being able to get fodder to do other SBCs and some big time packs or player SBCs. We're going to talk through that and some leaks about footies, cards, and content upcoming. So if you're excited for that today, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, really quick before we get into things, I'm trying out a new camera. Thank you guys for all the support. We just got a new camera. Hopefully it looks good and crisp. I'm still learning, figuring things out. So if it doesn't look like normal, that's why there's a difference. And also, yesterday we were streaming and my PC decided to just shut down two different times while we were streaming. I don't have it figured out yet, but we're going to hopefully figure that out here soon. And for right now, we're good recording this video. So with that being covered, let's talk about these EA mistakes and everything going on in this game right now. First of all, there's supposed to be, it was right there, the World of Football kit, right? This is the biggest mistake that EA made yesterday. And uh, right now, everybody's confused. Where in the world is this kit at? The World of Football kit, which is actually tied to XP. That's why it's very important. It's just like the extravaganza kit from a couple of weeks ago, right? You buy the kit from the store, it was 50,000 coins, and then you can go and complete objectives to get yourself further in the season progress, right? Very similar to that extravaganza kit, but this time it is a little bit different. You may notice these locked objective sections in the tab. There's only one of them right now that we actually would be able to complete if the kit was actually in the game. And this is the kit. This is me opening the kit yesterday on stream before everything shut down. I mean, there's us right there doing it. And then, of course, a couple of minutes, honestly, after that happened, EA pulled the kit from the store because people were opening that pack. Now, I don't know how I got the actual kit. People were opening the, the pack and they were getting the Augsburg kit. Augsburg third kit is somehow what this was coded to. And people were getting that kit instead of this one and then going out and not being able to do the objective or not even seeing this kit in their club because of it. Like if I go search my club right now, it is not there. So that is the issue with the home of the XP objective right now. And just to talk about this a little bit, because we can see how it's going to look when it works out, when EA figures this out and we're able to get this going. Um, it's actually, it's okay. It is a lot of XP. I believe what is it? it's like 6,000 XP uh, if you complete all four of these objective tabs in total. But the issue is it's not all completable at once. Remember the extravaganza kit? You did the 6,000 XP and it was like, boom, you got it all at once. It was all there for the doing at one time. This time it's split up between four different weeks, honestly, right? Right now we can do the home of XP one and XP two, three, and four don't come out for five, 11, and 16 days from now. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get through them. But for me being up behind in objectives, this is a W, right? We always, of course, love the opportunity to get further on in the objective progress and you have to do it using this kit now the objective itself is a little bit interesting and some people i think are confused on it as well you have to play win and score right score three goals win one match and play two matches in any game mode with you or your co-op teammate while having the world of football home kit equipped so i like how ea's added this in there we can do it in single player like normal you can go into a foot champs game without doing any co-op in any other mode and get it done or if you don't want to spend the 50k or if you don't have 50k to buy the kit you can co-op with a friend that does and you can get the objectives done so that's a w part about it um, if you did not know that also a w in the objective section is footies rivals rewards bonus not that i'm gonna play rivals this week and yeah, probably not at all but we have a little reward piece here with some good packs, 81, 11, 82, 10, and an 84 times three, and then an 85, 10 as the group reward. I mean, guys, that's really good fodder. If you're going to play rivals this week, it's also not even for winning games, it's for playing games. That's a lot of players, especially on that lower tier of fodder that a lot of us need right now to complete the SBC. So in my opinion, that is a big time W. Now let's talk about some of the SBCs that we got. We got the 80 plus player pick, exact same thing. Copy pasta, right? That's a lot of the SBCs from yesterday. Copy pasta, 80 plus player pick, exact same thing. 85 times 10, which I'm not even get, uh, done completing yet. I got to do these. Copy pasta, exact same requirements, 84 and 86 with a team of the week or a team of the season. The only change to our beloved 85 10 was they let us do it one more time. Instead of two times, 
three times a day. Now, the biggest change, well, actually, before we talk about that, we have the Fernando Torres SBC as well. So if you're, you know, wanted another icon SBC to grind, this one's very cheap. Go ahead and make sure you do the loan version of Torres, at least. Uh, all you need is gold players to get that one done because that gets you the XP. But along with that, we had the SBC that I think most people are excited for right now because it's unlimited repeatable. And it is this one, the 84 times 10 upgrade. It's one squad. This almost kind of seems like, I don't know, just like a smack in the face from EA. It's almost like a cheap shot because we're waiting for the 85 times 10 that is one squad unlimited repeatable. And um, instead they do an 84 times 10. Now, besides that, you need a team of the week, team of the week only. We'll talk about team of the week and trading and those fodder prices in a little bit. 87 rated squad. I love that it's only one squad, though, guys. You know this. That's what we wait for with the 85 times 10 every year at the end of the game. Just because you turn in 11 players, you have duplicates, you have some fodder that maybe you have to go buy one or two players, and then you get a chance at an 84 10 with footies cards and packs with the best of and really high rated cards and packs. That is a decent SBC. I know the price is eh, maybe just a little bit up there. 113,000 coins. Really, the reason why that's so expensive is Team of the Week prices are going up a decent amount. And a lot of them went up a lot yesterday because of a Team of the Week specific requirement inside that SBC. I, how, how much are Team of the Week cards right now? 32,000 coins. I have to imagine they were even higher than that earlier on in the day. And they're probably going to go up even later on today as well. Now, speaking of fodder, let's look at fodder a little bit longer because... Uh, there were some movements yesterday, but there's not as many movements, guys. And I think there's a couple reasons uh, as to why that is. But with the 84 times 10 being out, with the 85 times 10 coming back, and with the, um, the other, you know, even the 80 plus player pick, just getting a lot of people involved in crafting and doing SPCs, you did have your daily fodder spike. You had it, right? 84s went from 4.4k. This Castiles was 5.4k. And look, here we are in the middle of the night, early morning once again. Castiles and all 84s are back down to 4,500 coins. So these probably are going to go back up above 5,000 coins, just like they did yesterday. If you want to buy some, if you want to get involved, not a bad opportunity there. 85s, 86s, I mean, they had their spike. It just wasn't as crazy, right? 85s went from 6.3 to 7,000 coins. They're back down to the low sixes. And I believe 86s went up to like 9K or maybe even a little above that. Uh, but I mean, some of those are even down further than they were yesterday. It's really the 83s, the 84s, and the 85s that did the best and maybe even the 82s it's not coming to that kind of that lower rated fodder um, and the high tier fodder if you take a look at like the dino sbc right that's kind of our barometer right now for a lot of this the dino sbc for high rated fodder keeps moving around i mean every single day this moves yesterday it was up to like five five point four almost then it went down to five mil again but it's really this sbc price is moving because of the 93 to 90 92 honestly to 94 rated players and how they get packed and supplied so fodder you know it's going to be a decent place to trade this week but it may not be with the gold cards and we'll talk about that still just a little bit more at the end of the video but to move on to the next important topic of right now we're going to move forward and look into today and look into the current leaks and the current situations of news um and first of all it all started yesterday with this. It all started yesterday with this 83 times 100 that we've seen the pack code. We've talked about it. Foot Sheriff had the audacity to go out yesterday and say the 83 times 100 is coming as an SBC soon. And that's like, oh, wow, that's big news. That's crazy. He's like price prediction. Everybody's like SBC. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be crazy. We talked about it. We did. We mentioned that when we saw the pack code that it could be an SBC. It might be. But then he backtracked. He backtracked, guys. He said, update, literally like two hours after he tweeted the first S the, the first tweet or uh, X, whatever it is now. Update, not really sure if this is an SBC. I would expect a very expensive price, so my guess is a store pack instead. What is it, man? Why was the first tweet even put out if you're unsure, man? Why tweet at all? Guys, we don't know. Is it going to be in the store? Is it going to be an SBC? We're really not sure. This was my... Um, response to that tweet we just have questions now right more questions than before if i had to guess guys it could be an sbc it really could be one i just don't know when ea would drop it that's the biggest question if it is going to be dropped at sbc when is it going to be dropped and how much is it going to cost i mean think about the 84 times 30 that we have right now is like 300,000 coins you're going to drop down a rating to be 83 plus times 100 i would have to imagine that it's going to require I don't know. It all depends on how many uh, squads it requires, guys, right? If you think about it, if would you turn in like six or seven squads 
to get 100 players back because you'd technically be getting more players back than what you turned in, but your rating would be lower, right? And I would have to imagine that that SBC would be about 500K. If the 8430 is 300K, maybe even more than that, maybe six, 700,000, that's crazy, right? It's gonna be expensive regardless of wherever it drops, uh, but that's a pack that deserves a lot of attention because 100 players in one pack is kind of crazy. So that's one leak that we have right now. We're still awaiting some news and info about. The second one is, Chicharito is coming as a footies. Now he's he's got the car design here with the hero car design. I think that's just because um Sheriff likes Chicharito or something. Maybe he's a United fan. I don't know. Uh, but Chicha, kind of in the same realm as Podolski, right? Remember we had the Podolski SBC last week that was a uh, footies vote from EA's Instagram. This is not a footies vote. I don't think EA's dropped any votes as far as I'm concerned right now uh, with that. But this, to me, it might not be an SBC. It actually could be in packs, guys. Now, I hope that it's an SBC because I would have a lot more fun with this. And I think you guys would as well if this was an affordable SBC like the Podolski was. But... Um, he doesn't say SBC in the leak. He just says it's coming as a footy soon, which is exactly what he said with Ansu Fati. So this could be a card that is released in packs with the next batch of footies cards on Friday. So not sure about that, but that's a pretty emotional FIFA card, if you will, and potentially getting a footies soon. Let's talk a little bit more about Tuesday content today. I'm not expecting a crazy day unless they drop the 83 times 100, um, but the 86 plus player pick is going away. This has been one that a lot of people have been doing and it could impact some fodder prices as well. Um, if you've got like 81s or 82s that you've been investing in and trading with, be careful with those because those could actually drop in price a little bit today. Not a ton, but maybe a little bit. If this SBC or something uh, that replaces it does not require the same low rated squads, right? 81s, 82s have been in demand for the past like two weeks because this has been here also requiring a team of the week or a team of the season. Um, I could very easily see EA just literally refresh this SBC today, but it's going away. So who exactly knows there? And then player SBC potential for today, I think is pretty high too. Uh, we've had Cherokee, we've had Cole, we had Kunde on Friday, and then usually Tuesday, Wednesday, they drop another player SBC in. So I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully another footies player today, especially on the lower budget, right? Feels like a lot of the hype right now is with Dino, 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 crafting Dino, right? Or maybe, you know, a couple of the other players like Kunde and stuff like that. Give us another good value player to craft, like that Chicharito, like the Podolski last week. Something like that today on Tuesday would be nice. Hopefully one on Thursday as well. Keep the footies players coming EA. That's what makes it feel like footies. Now, a couple other things to talk about just to cover content and what's going on in this game right now. Some of you guys are packing team of the years, right? Um, somebody tweeted me today like, yo, I packed Erling Holland team of the year. What should I do? If you're packing these cards tradable, take the money. Honestly, I would not be holding on to these cards. And this card is more than I thought it was. How much is Holland? I thought it was like 300K. Uh, how much is Holland team of the year? Is he 500k? Wow. Okay, so some of these cards, he, he's probably going to be 300k next week, right? Especially if it's a best of batch two card. Um, I would take the money. If you're packing any of these guys that still hold a decent amount of value, just look at some of the cards that we had in the best of batch one. Messi's 1.3 mil. Yes, he was 1.8, 1.9. Uh, he's probably going to drop off some more by the time we get to the end of batch two, which is again, Still another like seven, eight days because these cards are in packs for what feels like forever. Ten days. Oh my goodness. Batch two needs to be out of packs this Friday. That's unfortunate that EA have made this batch go on for this long. We need to get to the big boy cards. We do. We need team of the seasons in packs pronto. But um, if you have any of those, if you pack them tradable, take the cash, take the coins because they're probably going to be worth less next week. Even on some of the really rare team of the year type cards or like an icon, I would still take the money on those. And then guys, if we want to talk about daily trading and making some coins on the daily, if you're like, Nate, how do I make coins right now? How do I get SBCs done? First of all, I would make sure to tell you, we talked about it in yesterday's video. Make sure you do this again. Go into the upgrade SBC section, get your daily bronze and daily silver SBCs done. I haven't done them. I need to do them. Get those done and then rinse what you get from that, the bronze and silver players into the ultimate bronze upgrade and the ultimate silver upgrade because out of the ultimate silver, you get gold cards and those gold cards can go boom right back into 80 plus player picks, which can give you good fodder to craft Dino, 85 times 10s, 84 times 10s, whatever you want to craft. That is the menu grind at the moment, but make sure you're doing those daily upgrade SBCs. But if you're looking purely for coins, if you're like, Nate, I need some coins right now. 
Look at team of the weeks. Look at team of the seasons because these cards fluctuate every single day because at content drop, people are doing the SBC to get these cards tradable, right? We still have a tradable team of the week and team of the season SBC that is dropped every single day, three times repeatable. But these card prices, especially on some of the middle to higher tier ratings, they fluctuate a ton. Let's just, I haven't looked up any of these card prices, but let's just look up one right now for an example. Um, Hoffman. Hoffman 84 rated inform. Does this card move? Because obviously he's not in packs at the moment. Oh, well, his max price is 30K. All right, that's something else to consider is that some of these informs have max prices of 30,000 coins. But if you can find one that does not, that is have that has a little bit of a higher rating, McGoldrick, max price of 30K as well. So that's the thing right now that you really have to look for are informs that don't have a max price of 30,000 coins that are getting put on the market because when inform prices go over 30K, that... Uh, oh, this guy, Ohalu, that's an interesting name. John Edis Ohalu, what's his max price? 30K, EA, what are we doing here, man? Anyways, you see why this is a problem, right? When inform demand gets a little bit uh, higher than 30,000 coins, a lot of these cards are extinct. And that means that the cards that have price ranges higher than 30K, if there are many, which there have to be, because these were above 30K earlier today, um, they will move and they will move probably pretty well. So if you see them on the market, if you get some snipes in there, you know, that's a good place to be. And also if you're trying to trade with some of these cards, be careful with the max prices. Um, why, why are these this low? These should be higher like EA. Come on. You, you want to drain people's coins out of their clubs, right? Make some of these price ranges higher than 30 K. So maybe that's a little bit of a trick. If you want to do that, just sit here on the 59th for informs and figure out which informs have higher price ranges than 30,000 coins. It might have to be like 87 rated ones. Um, what about Reese Nelson? 85 informed. This is the last one I'll check. Okay, 32. Wow, 2,000 coins above. So that's a really good way to trade, though. If you find the right informs, I think you might have to look a little bit higher rated than just 84s and 85s as I was looking. Again, I haven't been trading in that way, but I can only imagine that it works so good. Um, let's look at like 87s real quick. Boanga, 34K. Okay, 35K max price, but he probably gets listed up at 30. Uh, Taremi, what's he at? 35k max price so maybe do some searching on footbin looking through a few of these cards and then look at their footbin graphs right uh griffo yesterday 30k boom all the way to 39,000 coins people see that the cheapest informs are 30k they might list these guys at 30 you get on snipes you get on bids you'll find these cards for good deals and it's a way to grind the market right now where there's a lot of demand informs and team of the season cards trading them every single day so just get looking at the footprint graphs that's the best advice i can give you there and we'll end today's video with one other ea mistake just for fun yesterday on instagram they posted foot birthday george best said chase him in best of batch two or add him to your side now a new icon sbc available to complete an ultimate team they posted george best on instagram instead of posting fernando torres does this mean we're getting george best next monday it might. All right. That might have just been EA's leak to tell us that they are uh, dropping a George Best SBC next Monday as a part of Footy's Batch 2 Week 2. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. Hopefully, if the PC doesn't crash, it's been Nathan from Account. See you guys there. Peace out.